Sometimes when you're analyzing data, you don't want to analyze all of the cases that you have. You might want to pick only a certain uh, subset of the cases that you have in your data set. That's pretty easy to do. Now, I didn't, uh, I didn't actually write anything about this in the textbook because, uh, well, <laughs> I start, I get quite a big guilt complex about the number of trees that are dying. The textbook's quite big, and uh, I thought I'd just do this as a video instead. Because actually, there's quite a few different ways that you can select cases, and it would have taken up quite a lot of room. And actually, I was a bit lazy, and I kind of couldn't be bothered. Anyway, if you want to select cases, you go to the data menu, and you select. The select cases option and this brings you up a dialog box you can see by default SPSS will analyze all of the cases in the data set but you can set various options so for example we can set a condition that says you know we only want to select cases if something in particular is true you can if you like select a random sample of cases uh, you can select cases based on some kind of range of cases so you could maybe say uh, for example we only want to pick case 1 to 5 now if we were to do this uh, if, well essentially we can filter out cases which means they stay in the data set but we ignore them uh, we can also delete them that's a bit of a dangerous thing to do sometimes or we can copy them to a new data set. So we could give our, our data set a new name. Normally it's fine just to filter them out, uh, but you know it's really up to you. So in this first case, where we selected a range, you can see what SPSS has done is it's struck out all of the cases that it's not gonna look at. So we asked it only to look at cases one to five, so six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 have been struck out. Now let's look at a different thing. If we select a random sample, then again, we can uh, ask it to select, for example, a percentage of cases. So maybe we want 50% of cases, or no, actually let's go for 40% of cases. And again, we're just gonna filter these out. Now, it's just randomly selected four of the 10 cases or 40% of the cases that we're gonna ignore. However, probably, in most cases you're going to set some kind of condition so you're going to say I only want to pick a case if a certain thing is true so if we have a look at this option uh, we need to set up our condition now this condition can be a number of things for example um, if we have a, a text variable that um, has certain I don't know certain properties for cases in we could use that text variable to select cases so we could say, for example, uh, maybe we only want to pick participants who are called uh, Mark, for example. So select the variable participants first name, move it over into this section. And if that's equal to Mark, and we have to put this in speech marks so that uh, SPSS knows that it's text, then what should happen is it will only select cases that are called Mark. Again, we're just going to filter them out click on OK. Sure enough, it's blanked out all of the cases apart from these last two, which were called Mark. Now notice the way it does this is to create uh, what's known as a filter variable. So it creates a variable at the end that specifies whether a case is selected or not. And if we, uh, if we just, if we, if we change the, the view on the data editor, you can see that it, there are actually numbers of zeros and ones. So zero means the case is not selected, one means it is. So we can use text to specify a case, but we could also uh, maybe specify a group. So say we only wanted to look at our group of students, we could set a new condition, delete this one, set a new condition saying uh, if the variable group, whether they're a student or a lecturer, is equal to, if we want students, uh, we coded them with a two. So we want to select cases if this variables equal to two. Again, if we click on OK, our filter variable changes. Again, you can see it's struck out all of the lecturers, uh, but it's kept all of the students. So we've selected only the students. So any analysis we do, it's only gonna happen on those five students. 
uh, you could set up other things as well so maybe for example rather than looking at a particular group you might want to look at uh, cases for which a, a value is particularly high so you could say we only want to look at cases where say their neuroticism is uh, greater than oops, greater than 10 so again all our cases are still in the data set but ones with neuroticisms less than 10 so that's this case had 9 this case neuroticism 7 this case neuroticism is exactly 10 it struck out all of those cases and it's left only the ones for whom neuroticism is bigger than 10 and if we change that to uh, greater than or equal to 10 then we suddenly get this extra case who was actually on 10 so you can see you can mess around in all you know in all sorts of ways to get subsets of data which is a very useful thing to do the final thing you can do is you can create your own filter variable so you could uh, create yourself a variable like this with zeros and ones in and you could choose which cases you want to include so you could say well no uh, we we don't want her but we want those three maybe we don't want that one we want that one and um, maybe we don't want those three so you determine based on some criteria that you have um, you know maybe when you tested these participants they had four heads or something so you don't want to include them in your analysis so you filter them out manually and then you tell SPSS that you want to use a filter variable and that filter variable is the one you've set up at the end here so notice again it's scratched out all of the cases where you've put a zero in the filter variable if you change this variable just uh, have a look at what happens over here cases get scrubbed out or added depending on whether you put a zero or a one in this column so if you put zeros all the way down everyone gets excluded if you were to put ones all the way down everyone would get included so that just shows you several ways in which you can select subgroups or uh, specific cases in your data obviously in a small data set like this uh, the benefits of that may not be particularly obvious but if, you, uh, if you're analyzing data sets with you know, thousands of cases it's actually very very common that you want to look at uh, a subgroup of cases and that's how you do it happy days